Hey everybody, Ricardo Wilkins here with another quick update to one of my weekly webinars from just yesterday, actually. Um, so check the URL right here and you can see the past recordings and the one I did yesterday was related to OneNote and Whiteboard, the app and the differences. But one thing I didn't really show from, from a OneNote perspective is how one might easily add all the people in the meeting to that OneNote one notebook in the similar way to how Whiteboard does it. I mean, that's one of the main features of our Whiteboard integration into Teams is that by opening that Whiteboard, everybody in the meeting is now able to, you know, get in that meeting and start to, you know, do their annotations and whatnot. How can we do that with OneNote? Let's check that out. So here we are in the team that we were in on Friday that we had the channel meeting going. And you can see in the files area, I have a notebook, test one, two, three. So that's going to be available to everyone in this particular meeting who's in this channel. Um, so that's working just fine. So now I can go back to that meeting and we can use that to uh, collaborate on without me having to add people um, manually since we already have access. So I'm going to jump back into this meeting um, and I'm going to get my administrator uh, persona in there as well that we were using yesterday. So he's going to jump in as well. So we're both in the meeting now. So now uh, you can see here, I, you know, I had the little breakout room. That was a question that came up on Friday. We showed that. But let's now, as, as Ricardo, go back and we want to actually open up that notebook because as, let's say, the organizer or the, or the one talking in the meeting, I want to show this notebook for, for, to use it as a whiteboard. Um, so I'm going to open it up in the native app. In this case, uh, I'll use the OneNote for Windows 10. We'll open it up there. So it's going to open that notebook and uh, got it open. You can see test one, two, three. Everything's looking good. So now I'm going to go back to my meeting here. This is the window that I want to share out to the rest of the folks in the meeting. I'm just going to select that. I'm now sharing that notebook out. And obviously, we this is fine. Everybody can see what I'm doing, but I actually want everybody else in the meet in the notebook as well. So here's administrator watching my notebook, but. He uh, knows that that notebook is available to him as well. So he leaves his meeting and goes out to the files area, opens up that OneNote notebook as well. Again, nobody had to share or give permissions. That's a notebook that everybody has access to. He's opened it in his Teams in the browser. He's hit edit, and now he can edit as well. Now here's where we can kind of see what does it look like from a real time co-author perspective. You can see he just typed some text, not quite making it over to my notebook yet. Um, so uh, I'm actually typing some text in here just to kind of kick in the sync there. And now you can see the administrator's text, right? So we'll kind of see if I add some more, will that come through? A little bit, sort of, almost, kind of. <laughs> uh, hasn't quite come over yet. Um, I got to go over here, try to force the sync by kind of doing, you know, doing some things there. And there it comes now. So not quite as, if you check the video from Friday, you see what the whiteboard app is pretty much instantaneous not happening here. Let's check out inking, see if that's any better. First thing I noticed there, I'm, I'm inking with my mouse, jagged lines. I'm Again, I'm using it in the browser in Teams, so that's a little bit of a, a pretty good feat in and of itself, but not quite as smooth. And those ink annotations aren't coming over automatically, just like the text. Put a little edit in here to try to force it. And once I do, boom, there comes the edit. So I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm finding I have to force the syncs on the OneNote side. If I do uh, ink on my, on my side in the native app, I get nice smooth lines using the Windows native app, even with my cursor. But again, those uh, ink annotations aren't coming over immediately for the administrator on his side as he tries to move his uh, meeting window out of the way. If he puts a little edit of his own, now those come through smooth and whatnot. So it's working. Um, and the other aspect of this too is how do I give them uh, the, the, the notebook? And so copying a link is probably easier than maybe just telling everybody to go over to the files area. So here I'm copying the Teams link. Um, I could use SharePoint, but I'll use Teams here. I'll copy it and put it in the chat for the convenience of everybody in the meeting so they can just click it. So let me move this out the way and uh, I'll go here. I could put the huge big URL there, but we can do better than that. Instead, I'll type the word OneNote in this case, copy it, Control-K, Control-V, put the uh, URL in, 
And now I've got a nice little linkable link. And so if I go back over to the administrator account, goes back into that meeting, checks the chat area, you can see he's got the link there, it clicks it, opens up the, the notebook, and now he, all he has to do is hit edit to get going in terms of uh, being able to edit alongside uh, Ricardo in this case. So again, OneNote versus Whiteboard, a lot of times it's a preference. I could think of a half dozen scenarios and maybe I'll blog it one day in, in my uh, blog there, but uh, I could think of a half dozen reasons why one might choose OneNote versus Whiteboard. Um, but in general, these days it's a preference. Right now, this conversation is really centered around uh, GCC or our, the government customers versus non-GCC and that uh, in the government cloud right now, we're still waiting for Whiteboard integration. Until that day comes, uh, OneNote is what we have, and hopefully uh, this video and the video from yesterday helps you uh, see how you might be able to leverage that. So thanks, and again, check out either one of these um, blogs or links here for more info. See ya.